Hello and welcome to the CPU installation guide. In this episode of in-depth PC gaming build, I will be doing a CPU installation guide. And I will again get the camera in closer and put this thing down uh, horizontally so we can have a good time installing the Intel i7 Sandy Bridge 2600K CPU. The best Sandy Bridge CPU out there. Stay tuned. I've never actually even seen a Sandy Bridge CPU before, so I'm pretty excited. And here it's still in the plastic uh, fitting, and I'll keep it there until I get this off. So let's get on with the CPU installation. Uh, first of all, like if if you're using an aftermarket cooler, you're most likely gonna have a backplate. I already had mine installed, and I had these sticks coming up from the backplate uh, for my water cooling system, which I'm gonna install. And you're gonna have something similar to that when you have uh, just a regular fan CPU heatsink cooler. And here is the standard uh, Intel cooler that comes with the. Um, that comes with the CPU. So we're not going to use this. And here, uh, first we have to remove this black plastic part, the plastic safe. And you do that by pressing down on this lever and then pull it up. This metal thing comes right up. And then you take Let's see, power should, yeah, it just comes right up, right out, and there you just put it away. And then you have your CPU, your actual CPU, uh, whether it's AMD, uh, Intel, doesn't matter. As long as you have the right socket, you need to make sure that your motherboard has the right socket for that CPU. And let's see, how is this opened? There, and be very careful not to drop this or anything else. And grab it only by the edges. Don't, don't let your uh, fingers touch the copper. And now we need to make sure it's lined up correctly. We have these two small plastic things here on the edges and we have little indents over here on both sides. So that means we need to line up this way, this way, and as you can see, that thing over there will line up with the actual CPU. And oh, you're not supposed to do that. You're just supposed to lower it down, but that shouldn't hurt. And now it's lowered down, and seems to be there. You don't apply any pressure. Do not apply pressure. Just let it fall down and once it's in place properly make sure it's in place well then you will add this thing. Uh, once you close down the lever that will give all the uh, that will give all the pressure it needs to stay on. And that's how you properly install a CPU. Now we just need to add the thermal paste before we can uh, add the cooler which is a water cooling block. But I'm not going to show that in this video because I will be showing it in my water cooling tutorial episode. So stay tuned and we will be installing the DDR3 memory next.